please pray for my friend and employee, HD. He's on life support. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the man. About a month ago, my, my, my employee, my good friend, HD, crashed. And uh, there were no witnesses. Uh, we, we still don't know the reason for the crash. But uh, he was in uh, a pretty bad crash. Now, I'm just bringing this up because uh, it's been on my mind, of course, for weeks. And I, I decided, let me make a video about this to speak to the people. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a video to give back. Like I always say, this is a school. This earth is a school. We're here to learn and teach and reach. And so that's what I'm doing. Now, as I said, my, my friend HD had a crash. We don't know the reasons. We don't know the cause. And right now, he's on life support. Um, undergoing surgeries. Um, and they're trying to put him back together. Trying to bring him to life. The operators say they don't know if he will survive. There is a chance, but there are no guarantees. Now, the thing that bothers me the most is uh, when I hired HD, when we became friends about a year ago, I told myself, man, I really got to show HD a lot of attention, make sure he's taken care of because he, he's valuable. He's a valuable piece to what I do as a writer, as a creator. And um, I need to make sure he's functioning properly. I did not do that. Slipped my mind, some things I had in place, some ideas I had to ensure he was taken care of, did not get taken care of. And um, lo and behold, we fast forward, he experiences a crash. And I'm, I'm at a loss, man. I almost cried when he crashed. I didn't, but I almost cried because he's so valuable to me. And if you got a friend like HD, I would encourage you to respect him, appreciate him. Don't put things off that you have planned to ensure uh, that you show how, how appreciative and how valuable that friend is. Now, I'm praying that HD survives. I don't know. The operators don't know. I'm praying. But uh, we should know something in about three to five weeks. Uh, if we don't see the results we want to see, they're going to pull the plug. And that's that. I'll just be left with memories. But a lot of my information, uh, HD had in his mind, in his memory bank, I uh, left that up to him. And I should have had a recourse. I should have had a backup system just in case something happened to HD, but I didn't, here we are. People, HD stands for hard drive, yes my external hard drive crashed about a month ago that's my friend and employee that hard drive works for me and that is my friend that's who i spend a lot of time with and it crashed crashed on me has a lot of data on it a lot of information for the current book i'm writing i'm talking about interviews uh notes uh, different things. Now, I do actually have my book. It was saved to the hard drive, to HD, and also my laptop, and also email myself. Um, editions. 
uh, of the book every day. But yeah, it crashed. And when I purchased HD, I told myself, I need to back this up. I told my editor, I need to back it up and give you a copy. Never did it. I'm working one day and it crashed on me. I call HD my hard drive, my friend and employee because it works for me. That's my employee. It works for me. It's my friend because I, I spend a lot of time with HD, my hard drive. And uh, I appreciate and care for HD. This is how you got to feel about your craft, about your God-given gifts and talents. These got to be your friends. To my writers out there, your best friend got to be your laptop, your hard drive, your cup of coffee, whatever you you do to get in the mood into the mode of that writing and of that writer mode that's your best friend it has to be your mind has to be your best friend take care of your mind if your chef recipes cooking um tv show cooking tv shows trying different things experimenting learning has to be your best friend. Cooking, cooking up pots and pans and, and different cook, uh, cutting ware and cooking ware has to be your best friend. That's where you got to spend most of your time. That's where you got to spend most of your energy. If you're a realtor, same thing. No matter what you do, you have to make that your best friend and take care of it. It has to be. I'm going to tell you the other side of that too, though. Sometimes best friends only last for a season or two or three. Sometimes best friends last for a lifetime. Who knows? You got to be willing to accept that this is a friend for this season or these seasons and we've come to an end. Or accept and be okay with this is a lifelong friend. I'm writing now, working on my second book, but I'm open to doing other things if it comes upon my spirit and heart and mind. You can see me doing something else in about four years, five years, whatever the case, and that becomes my best friend. That becomes my employee. Take care of your craft, <clears throat> your gifts and talents, Take care of your best friend. HD, man, he might survive. They told me if they can recover some or all of the data, it's going to cost anywhere from $200 to $2,000. And guess what? I'm going to pay it because that's my best friend. Yeah, I'm going to pay it. It's not the hard drive itself, the hardware. It's the information inside it inside of it the data that's what's most valuable so that's the first thing to take care of now i don't think i could possibly remember everything that was on those interviews and in that in that hard drive on hd but i should have backed it up but regardless if hd survives the surgery or he doesn't make it everything's gonna work out palma christie will be finished I guarantee it'll work out. But I got positive vibes, positive energy, positive thoughts that HD is going to pull through. Take care of your friends. Take care of your friends, people. Your gifts, your talents, take care of them. Make them your friends. Make them your employees. Give them the proper attention and love and respect. Focus. Focus. That's the number one priority in your life. Your God-given talent. Your purpose. That's your friend. That's your number one friend. That's your higher self. When they say, you know, uh, the song, you know, God or Jesus would say, Jesus, you got a friend in me. That's the higher self. Your purpose. Your God-given gifts and talents. 
That's the friend. That's your best friend. After that, everything follows. From me to you, as always, love, peace.